CFB Radio. I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside my right hand man, Cash. No motherfucking sense. What's up, blood? What up, my nigga? I see you. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, don't do that. Nigga, How was your brisk, Miss My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you, dog. <laughs> And we see WTFB Radio, man. Choose what the future brings as black culture through music. Always black, in y'all. the sound lab in the garage, man. You already know what the fuck time it is, man. If you need somebody to shoot some ill shit for you, man. This is where it's up. This is where creators create, my nigga. Shout out to my man 211. Shout out to Nicole. She the manager up in this shit. Uh-huh. Shout out to my man Barbette, man. He out here doing what the fuck he got to do for the Bro. sound lab, man. Um, We happy to be here this week. And every other week, my oh, nigga. Come on, man. You know, it, it can't stop. Why would it stop? Come on, man. Like Shout a- out to the pod dealer, too, man. Oh, yeah. Couldn't be here, but, you know, the pod's still slain. She couldn't be in the building because mm. she she jet lagged right now. She was globe trying uh, for the new she year. She flew southwest. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, she, she wanted to be here. I want her to be here as well. But, you know, we, we here. We rocking out, man. But how you, bro? Happy New Year, my nigga. Happy New Year. You had some Jumu. Yeah. yeah, yeah I went to your mom's you crib. I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it was good to see yeah. you, my nigga, you know? Because my mom's house is good for that Jumu, but yeah. I had the best shit at my house. Who made it? I did. Oh, fuck out of here. Nah, man. you got to understand. Nigga crazy. It takes time for you to understand. I get it. I get it. Like that threshold of my mom cooking to me cooking. Yeah, bro. That's Nigga, it. you ain't never gonna make no Jumo better than your I'm mother. I'm telling you, right, yo, I don't want to hear that shit. Let's let's digress, bro. All right, I had a good New Year's. Yeah. It, was, it was beautiful. I chilled out. For you niggas who go out on New Year's, like y'all niggas is the biggest risk takers in the world, bro. Well, we did all of that already. Yeah, but it's just. I think it's like, a young nigga thing for niggas to really go outside like New Year's and like. Really want to be in the clubs and be outside. And it's just young niggas. I, I, so, so that's that's my story, mm. right? For niggas who around our age is going outside for New Year's, I think it's weird. My nigga, yes, like I know you got kids, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck is you doing, right? <laughs> like, like, we did all of that in our early twenties. You know what I'm saying? And it was fun, and we, I mean, it was a lot of fun, and I think everybody should experience that, but. At this point, nigga, we got kids and shit, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a big scam to get you either way, bro. And they gonna charge you what, like yeah, a yeah. buck Everything twenty just to get in the head. Head. Everything in the is club. over the head for right. you. Yeah, so yeah, nah. I was chilling. I was chilling. Nah, it was good, man. I, I, was I brought it in um, with my sister, man. She had a little party at her crib. First New Year's with our pops. So, like, yeah. you know, I got completely obliterated, my nigga. You, as you should. You know what I mean? It was like 4.30 when I finally got home. I ain't I ain't slept till like noon in a very, very long time, my nigga. But New Year's Day, that's what that's what I did. That's what that's what I was on. Wow. But it was a good celebration, man. It was a good time. Um, you know what I mean? New Year's, new beginnings, new starts. You know, all that shit. You know, New Year's resolution <laughs> is some bullshit, yeah, though. Shit. You know what I mean? New Year's resolution is some bullshit. But it's like you, you can't... You say you had a New Year's resolution? Nigga? Yeah, yeah, but it's tough, Did you say you're going to stop drinking for like six months or some Whoa. shit like that? You did say that. You said that on the recap. You, on camera? you said you was gonna stop drinking and smoking for six months at least. For six months? <laughs> you didn't say that. That wasn't you. You know, no bullshit. I do want to stop smoking. I do want to. I want to. I honestly, because I feel like the smoking got a hold on me. You know, when you feel like something got a hold on you. You want some fizzle shit? Yeah, you want to just feel like if you go, you just like, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want cold turkey on the weed, man. You remember? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. So that's that's one of my plans, but that wasn't one of my resolution. I ain't tell everybody that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that on the part? Nah. I could have sworn he said that. I'm going to pull up the I'm gonna pull up the. Well, nah, right. one of my joints was to take more accountability for the shit that I say, bro. Right. right. You know like saying? you like, said you was going to stop smoking and drinking. <laughs> So take accountability for that, my nigga. I don't know if I, said, I, don't that, know if I said that for six months. You, I, I don't know if it was six months, but you said you wanted to go on a stretch. I without, do want to take a stretch without no So when's that happening, my nigga? It's the New Year's. It's the fifth of the year. The fifth day. What we, we doing? Do how we February. looking? We're going to do February. Oh, wow, wow, February, wow, wow. It's a short you, see how month. Ni- you see how niggas get? It's a short month, You niggas. see how niggas get? It's but, even four oh, weeks. Okay, so you actually said 90 days. You know what I mean? I got a teleprompter in front of me now, nigga. You said 90 days. 90 you days. said that shit. I could do 90 days. 
No but Starting no when? L, no but no L. Starting when? What kind of show do y'all niggas want? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. Y'all want to push this to the limit? Hey, fuck it. I'm with it. Y'all want to see if I break? Fuck it. I'm with it. Let's do it. Starting now, nigga. After this episode, nigga, 90 days. Nigga, okay. Let's go. I would love to see that, my nigga. I'd love to see, like, I'm you know what I mean? How, how, how much you can actually yeah, go through What you with got, that. nigga? Because that's a big ass test. What you got? Nigga, I never said I was giving up no nigga. <laughs> no, no, I, I know what my limits are, nigga. I need this shit. I'm going to drink you know up I mean? today, nigga. I'm all for set, sure. bro. But, yo. Mm. You been watching what's going on in Mexico right now, man? Yo, son, listen. I know that the Netflix <laughs> Narcos oh. directors are going crazy. Crazy right now. The niggas like, bing, 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 this Yo. shit's going to be lit. The next season is going to be ridiculous, my nigga. Yo, my nigga, the way that them pickup trucks was sliding through. Bro, the niggas was a honey deep. Like they was going to mow down the rainforest my versus nigga. Yo, the listen. military. And you got to understand, how many niggas, you know, how many Mexicans you done seen in a pickup truck? Like eight. It was like 80. <laughs> pickup trucks. You do the math. Was eight times eighty. <laughs> Yo, my nigga, they was going <laughs> ham, and it's like, and they was going ham against. No, you laughing? Why you laughing? They was going ham against the the you uh the Mexican yeah, military. The military. Yeah, not the but, military. Like not the Mexican cops, bro. The your bike, nigga. <laughs> they talking about the military. Yeah. So. I'm with the cartel, bro. These niggas ain't gonna but, lose. But, but do y'all remember? Do you remember when they they arrested the same nigga a few years ago? They went in. And then they had to let him go. Yeah. So I don't know why the fuck they felt like this shit was gonna be successful this time. Cause now they're going crazier. There was like airstrikes and some more shit. They with that death shit. You know what I'm thinking about? Imagine you being a nigga, nigga. You're like, ah, Cosimel, we outside. Ah, you on vacation. And all you son, you hear doo, 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 doo. just coming from the sky, my nigga. On uh-huh. vacation. Uh-huh. All your flights is canceled. You can't go back to the US while you're in the middle of a war with a cartel versus the government. Simply because they arrested this nigga. I mean, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, bro. I'm, the, the Mexican government called it on themselves. You, you know, they should they should really should they should have been just like been like, yo, look. Cartel, y'all got that. Like, yo, look, let's just just keep doing bit. Fuck the U.S. You know why the U.S. Fuck the ain't U.S. <laughs> See what I mean? The U.S. Like, bring cocaine. <laughs> They're like, hey, yo, fuck it. Yeah, you know U.S. Mean? Like, we gonna mind our business on this one. My on man. dog, right? But for that simple fact, it's more like, yo, there's no choosing sides on this one. You what can't. You, mean? You, what you mean like like the U.S. Yeah, like oh, there's, okay. there's no choosing sides on this one. Yeah. It's, it's simply like. They're going to get the boy out. Right. As he should. Right. And y'all going to continue. Right. You know what I mean? As they should. Like, right, 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 right. So right. I really don't have much to say on that, bro. Like, Mexicans been Mexicans, bro. The Mexicans. I expect them to crazy. be there at seven in the it's morning, bro. You know what I mean? To germ the hedges. <laughs> <laughs> Is that wild? That's wild. That's wild. You see how many pickup trucks, though? They make. <laughs> <laughs> nah. That's why you seen the video. That it was, was like crazy. it was an like eighteen white Ford Silverado. Nah, that was Rangers. <laughs> it was definitely some Rangers. Some Rangers. Those had to be some Rangers, my name. Because you know they weren't even like the heavy duty Jones. Those are the, those are the V six. But you, but you know they riding out. Oh, nah, for sure. And that's why. That's why they need to heavy let artillery man, on the range. Let that man name. out. Let that man out. But you know. I got nothing. It's a Nola cartel, my nigga. I don't want to speak bad about them niggas ever, my nigga. Nah. Because we see how they riding out in the Mexican nah, government. Nah, I want to get on so, the good side. So, yeah, I mean, that shit's crazy. Um, what else you want to holler, holler about before before we get into these ratings, man? Shit, damn. I, I can tell you what I'm mad about. What you mad about? Celtics right now, bro. Uh, what happened to the Celtics? We losing right now. To who? And, and, you know, we losing punk-ass game. To who? 
Oklahoma City Thunder. I thought they was good. Nigga, we gave up 150 points to these niggas, bro. And we and they didn't have their star player. Who was their star player? Uh SGA. Who's SGA? Shane. Is his first name Shane? What's his first name? Sean? Sean, I don't know, nigga. Uh, Sean Alexander Gregorius. Okay. SGA is so what happened to him. He wasn't in the game. But they still scored 150 points on us, man. How much we score? And it, we lost. What was it like? And we lost by 30. Either way. But the point I is, mean, yo, when you're the number you one lose, team, no, you don't understand. You it's lose, not like football. Look, bro. Darvin, lose, what's what's the nigga name from Buffalo? Uh, the, the the nigga that died and came back. He didn't. Yeah, I forget his name. What's his name, though? God damn. It's like, what's his name? Anybody? D Hamlin. D Hamlin. All right, so look. Stop touching the mic. You will damn. never see a basketball injury like that shit. No. Like ever. Like the worst we've seen was like Paul George, like his shins turning into boneless spare ribs. <laughs> and then Gordon Hayward, you mean his ankle turned into a curly fry. Okay. But other than that, you're not gonna get a nigga to pass out and die. On the field. That was crazy, though. Yo, my nigga. He hit somebody and passed out. Yo, my nigga, because it's football. Because it's football. Yo, you, you, you've been saying this for a while. Like, you have, like, this thing against football, my nigga. Like, yeah, what's, because what's LeBron James, there will never be a LeBron James in football. What are you talking about right there now? There will never be a nigga who gets to play till he's 38 in football. You don't okay. want to know why? Right. Because it's, it's every way, Sunday. It's, it's way more there, there's, Every Sunday is a 75% chance Tom Brady is an anomaly. Niggas done brought up Tom Brady. Right, Tom Brady. We're not talking a, about Tom Brady. Nah, we're not. Right, he's always we're had talking the about best old line. You, you in the bring league. up you bring up the best players in football. Barry Sanders stopped playing because he didn't want to get hit. And then Calvin Johnson for the same team stopped playing because he didn't want to get concussed no Again. more. Tell the truth. But Calvin Johnson, how many times did he get a concussion before he said no more? Yo, you got to understand. So, no, 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 no. Now, that's the difference. Nah. That nigga, that, so, so Hamlin. You're right? not going to sign up your son to play ba- football before basketball. Why not? It depends on what he's good at. Nah, basketball. It depends on more. what he's good at, my you nigga. You foolish. Bro, are you sure? You get me? him in the gym with hardwood. So you're going to tell me if your yes. son sucks at basketball, you're just going to force him to play basketball. Golf. But if he's a, but if he's a star of football, you want tennis? Tell me you can't play. Now that's the same. Yo, I got that's mad insane. different sports I can choose from that's than insane. football. That's the same. Football is silly as fuck. That's the same. That's the same, bro. Them niggas leave every game different. <laughs> <laughs> every game they become somebody different <laughs> on dead dogs. <laughs> bro. You think the Hall of Fame NFL players are in the best? Mental health condition right Look now. At Shannon Sharp, he's fine. Shannon Sharp. <laughs> Look, at Sh- <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with Shannon Sharp? That's the only one you got. Okay, look at um uh Deion Sanders. You, you can easily tell that Tom Brady in ten years is gonna be fucked nah, up. Nah, that's not true. That is not true, bro. Nah, bro. That is yeah, not bro. true. That's not fair. You can see it, bro. Don't you, you wish that type of evil on Tom Brady, my nigga? I'm done with Tom Brady. You done with time, right, but either way, yeah. The Hamlin shit was scary, right? Son, he shook his helmet, like, like his head, because he, they do that to make sure that their head is still on their <laughs> fucking shoulders. <laughs> so they shake their helmet. That's not why they do that, it. That's why they do it. They, he shook his helmet. Oh, my head's still that's on. Not why they do and then it. he fell out. <laughs> Yo, my nigga, you you ain't never seen that on no other sport. Yo, hockey niggas, they fight, bro. They take their helmet off and they throw punches at each other, bro, on skates. How many niggas have you fought on skates? Zero. How many niggas have you fought on skates? Zero. That's way more impressive than the nigga getting concussed tackling the nigga, bro. So you think in the NFL? He tackled the nigga and then almost died. <laughs> All right. So tell me this. Tell me this. Tell me this. Do you think the NFL shouldn't exist? Yeah, bro. The NFL's whack. Because the NFL's whack. You don't get no plays that last more than 15 years. Nah, that's wild. Nah, that's bro. Insane. Y'all niggas just like no, mayhem. No, no, stop, stop. Nah, stop. y'all like war niggas, on camera. How y'all many, like war many, on camera. How many, how many black? How many black people became millionaires by being in the NFL, my nigga? You gonna stop all those opportunities because niggas be getting hurt? 
Bro. What are you talking about, bro? bro. They bro. know the possibilities those, those when they get in that players, shit. Those same players qualify to play MLB and basketball, and they're going dead dogs. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes was a pitcher. That nigga chose football. He chose bro. concussions. Bro, it's not. It's has, not. has Patrick Mahomes ever been concussed? Bro, there's no. Being in the NFL. Bro. Cheers. No, cheers. Nah, my nigga, cheers. I understand relax. your argument. No, it ain't no relax. I you can stand on a mound and throw the ball a thousand times. Okay. And never get concussed. And you bro. might get hit in the head with a fucking 95 mile an hour baseball, my cheers, nigga. The at the same that. time. Cheers. So football bro, is crazy. Bro, I get you, what you're saying. You don't you're think saying. football's crazy? I get what you're saying. You don't think football's crazy? Of course it's crazy. The Saints bro. had a bounty. Think about this. The Saints had a whole defensive team who's getting paid. A extra if they injured a nigga. That's ill. Woo! <laughs> nigga, you telling me? Tell me another sport. You can't have that. So for football, them niggas on defense looking at Brett Favre like that nigga was a, like a Wagyu steak, nigga. Of course. They was like, yo, bro, I want this nigga with mushrooms and onions, my nigga. You don't put that like, on Wagyu. <laughs> Nah, you don't do that on Wagyu. That's where that, that's that's ruining your Wagyu, my nigga. But I understand what you mean. I understand what you. That's mean. not a good. Ad- I understand what you that's mean. That's not good. Bad addition. analogy. Bad analogy, my nigga. You never but had you, Wagyu, clearly. I haven't. All right. It's like you, you it's don't like, do no mushrooms. It's, nah, it's, it's like, like it's like, <laughs> like it's like way too much. It's <laughs> right, like the right. same beef, nigga. Right, yeah, it's like yeah, a different yeah. part of the cow, nah, nigga. It's just, like it's just elite. It's just different. Yeah, you yeah. like you like veal too, right? Veal's all right. But either way, I understand what you're saying. My you name. a wild nigga. But you enough like of that. Veal? veal is banging. You shitting? Like, what are you talking about? Anyway, uh, yo, so uh, look. Uh, Veal's crazy. I get it, but I'm glad <laughs> that young man is all right, my nigga, because I dead oh, ass he thought he living. died. I, I dead ass thought he died, my nigga. Like, when I saw those clips, I was like, yo, what the fuck is niggas freaking out about? And I dead ass thought he that died. That shit didn't give nigga. you the chills? Yeah, bro. That shit was crazy. But that's the. How many times did that happen, though? But you see, when I watch a basketball, but you can't, you can't just chalk it up to one instance, my nigga. That's not fair. That nigga died one time. on the, f- he died on TV. How many years has the NFL been on TV? Yo, chill. A nigga I'm died for the like, first time. There's no other sport you see that. And he came back. A nigga could get hit he with a 95 mile fastball. He didn't die he for jump good. Jump up, nigga. He. B- he-, <laughs> <laughs> he ain't died for good, Cash. He came back. And now he gets to live another day and play in the NFL and collect his millions, my nigga. So shout out to that black man, my nigga. Shout out to that black man for bro. Shout out to D. Hamlin, man. I'm glad you alive, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? What up? I hope he's going back, man. I hope. How can he go back? Why wouldn't he go back? You're fucking crazy. I'm not saying like tomorrow. I'm just saying, Nick. How yeah. Go back. Nigga, why wouldn't you go back? He's playing defense, bro. That's under. That's bro, none of how that's many? Under- All right, I'm done talking about this shit, my nigga. <laughs> I hope that nigga has an illustrious career, my nigga. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, I want the NFL to pay him as he sits down for the rest of his life. That's it. You don't got to play football. Niggas that's quit. That's insane. Football's whack, bro. You can't sign up for some shit and then cry Football's wolf when you whack. get hurt about Football's it, my nigga. Football's whack. But Football. either way, man, let's get to these red cups and ratings, man. I want to talk to these guests tonight. So I want to talk about these guys that we that we want to rate this week, man. So before anything else, man, let's start off with somebody that, you know what I mean? We shouted out multiple times on this platform, man. He's currently sitting down right now. Um, you know what I mean? I hope everything is going good with his case, man. But we talking about my man, Mizzy Cash. Yeah. Shout out Mizzy Cash. This time we're talking about his latest project. From the joint, Cash 3. This is a 12-track project. It's about 28 minutes long. What did you think? A lot of pain. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, Mizzy always been talking about that pain, but I feel like it was a combination of records. I feel like it was a combination of some feel-good records. He has some... um, I don't got the list in front of me, but he has some feel-good records on there. But he also has... Long Live, Regular Day, Dolo Vibes, Hero... Money Re- first, yeah, regular day, stolen. like regular day, like he he was explaining like his loved ones in that one, you know what I'm saying? And like, but you can still hear the pain of Mizzy Cash's fucking music. So for that matter, like, it overweighs everything for me. And, wow. and the production wasn't the best. 
the production I was, was decent. I wasn't in love with the production. It was nah, decent. I nah, I wasn't in love with the production. It was decent. Nah, it was, it, was it decent. wasn't bad. I mean, it was a production that knew him. But, but you got to understand, though, right? So when, when a nigga drop a joint from the joint, these but are all it, shits it, that he recorded not. prior. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? So, like, yeah. this is literally, like, the, the, the best, you know, compilation of songs that he had prior to him going to jail. So yeah, I got that you, part. You, you can't hold it to him, like, curating something from the ground up. Because it's not fair. You can't. Nigga in jail. Yeah, but I'm saying for the nigga who don't know that story. For the nigga who don't know that story and listen to this project, I'm rating it like that. Like if that you listen to Mizzy Cash, you wouldn't know the story. Let's be real. Okay, yes. That's, <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah. That too, that, either way, I rated it like a nigga who didn't know that. For that matter, like, I wasn't entirely in love with the production. That was the only thing I sh- I'll, I'll give it. But other than that, I like that shit because yeah. Mizzy talk that shit. Yeah, he do. You know what I mean? Mizzy tell you that story, bro. Like, he easily tell you exactly what he going through every step of the way. And if you was different, you would find a different lawyer. <laughs> what was your favorite record on there? Damn, I don't know. Keep would you going. have to say Regular Day? For you? Regular Day was a good record. Nah, but it wasn't Regular Day. Nah, I, I, I can't. I, I think Money First is my favorite joint on there. It was it was probably the shortest record. I'm not going front, but it was straight to the point. It was sweet, and you know, Mizzy Cash, man. You know, I I got mad love for the kid, man. I want to see him do well, man. So like hearing shit like this, knowing that a nigga's bagged and jammed up, it just kind of be like it puts me in a weird situation. It's like, damn, man. Like I want him to get out of that situation and yeah, you know I mean, come home and actually hit the ground running, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to this music shit, so. um Free Mizzy Cash, man. You know what I mean? But you, you want to talk about what we gave it? Yeah, what we do? So out of five red cups, what do we give this, man? Out of out of five red cups, man, we gave my man Mizzy Cash a solid four out of five yeah, red cups, man. Shout out my man Mizzy man. Cash, man. Free that man. So, you, you know, what I will say, my nigga, is that we don't want to glorify like jail life, but that's a reality for a lot of niggas, man. And when it comes to this hip-hop space, my nigga, we're going to talk about this shit more often. Yeah, why, why aren't y'all locking it is up what country it is. rappers, country singers and shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas letting country singers get off, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Rock and roll niggas been talking about killing niggas for years. On dogs. On dogs. But y'all got young thugs sitting here, nigga. Yeah, they doing thug dirty. Oh, they doing thug dirty. They doing him outrageous right now, man. All right, let's talk about the next joint. So the next joint is a six-track project by somebody that I found out about, you know, via the internet, man. Like, I ain't know about him before. I'm surprised he made the cut. Why? Because it's 14 minutes. It's 15 minutes, exactly. You know what I mean? Come on, son. Like, you, you ain't even paying attention to what the fuck we doing. You making us look crazy in our own shit, bro. Like, it literally says 15 minutes right there. It 15 says 14 minutes or longer. Minutes on my shit. All right, well, your shit's fucked up. But either way, <laughs> man, we talking about my man FNM Mook with Business First. Six tracks, 15 minutes long. What you think? Honestly, I was, you know, it's not one of our categories, but, you know, well, well. I was looking for more length. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, it, was just, it just wasn't it. It just wasn't of it. I mean, it was a little short. You know what I mean, pause. You know what I mean? Like, it was just like, it was, it was, and I get his message. You know what I mean? I get his message. I, I hear it loud and clear. You know what I'm saying? But still, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you really if you really got enough to put it out, put it all out. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know I mean? do all the pauses. Like, it's more like just be fully into it. Like, what are you doing? Like, right, you right, know right, what right, I mean? Right. Nah, so, I get it. I get it. But I mean, fuck. fuck. All right. Barring that, my nigga, what do you think about what he actually gave the people, man? I liked it. I, I liked it. What was your favorite record? I ain't got a favorite record. He got a lot of drill records. I'm not a drill nigga, bro. I like the uh the Spark session. Oh, with Spark them, with them with them uh Detroit niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I liked about it? Cause a lot of niggas do the Detroit sound, but they ain't from Detroit. But he did the Detroit sound on this record with two Detroit niggas. Little do they like, know, nigga. They could buy a whole block in Detroit <laughs> for thirty-seven dollars. 
<laughs> the niggas just lack all knowledge, bro. They could go to Detroit <laughs> and own a whole block of Detroit, nigga, for a whole paycheck from Massachusetts on that dog. But I let niggas live. Go ahead. They love Detroit rap. They love destitution. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they love that Yo, you shit. You gotta chill, my nigga. You gotta chill. But now nah, I like this, man. I thought that, like, you know what I mean? He, he, it's exciting because I, I never heard the dude, and he's from Brockton. There's a lot of ill niggas coming out of Brockton when it comes to this music, man. So I was excited for it, man. Like, you know, I, I actually found out about him through um Rico. Okay, because, word. The camera? Yeah, I see I seen Rico doing like a video for him or whatever like that. So I was like, all right, Rico has a pretty, you know, decent ear when it comes to music, and she likes cool shit. So let me see what's up with dude. And I looked into him, and then I realized this dropped, and I thought this was fire, man. I loved it. Like, I, like, I could play it literally it from start to finish. Project. I could play it from start to finish. I, I'll ride around listening to this shit, my nigga. That's a lot. But I <laughs> Really? <laughs> it's not a bad project. All right. So you wouldn't listen to this again? It doesn't have replay value for you? No, nah, it's not a. It's, it's not something that I'm going to ride around with. Okay. All right, so what 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 about it? Would it would, why wouldn't you want to listen right around listen to it? Because I feel like I didn't get enough out of it. Just because you didn't hear enough doesn't mean it's not good, though. I know that's, that's what fair. I'm saying. It's, it is good. It is good. But so why like, wouldn't you ride like, around well, listening? I don't. To it? I don't know what I could take from it. I don't know what I could take from the it. music. Like, wasn't good. The content wasn't good. Like the 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 music was good. The content was good, but. Like we're, so what's we're, the we're borderline on that line where it's like I feel like I didn't consume enough, nigga. It's just what it is for because me. Because you just don't know the guy. Yeah, I don't know the guy, so therefore so I you didn't know come... everybody you listen to. No, nah, but I know enough to go back to listen to other music. I didn't hear any any other shit. So before Reasonable Drought, you heard of Stove God Cooks? No, but I'm saying, but that was a whole. F- what are we talking about? That's no, a whole hour project. That's not the point, though, my nigga. From what I'm you talking- heard. From what you heard, from what you digested, you're telling me it's not good enough to ride around and listen to. I find that hard to believe. Bro, I'm going If you're telling me it's good, why wouldn't you ride around and listen? Bro, to I'm going to ride around and listen to it from up the block to down the block. <laughs> <laughs> and then right. it's going to be over. All right. All right. All right, guys. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. So if this was 47 minutes long, who knows? Do you know what a 47 minute long project from him is like? <laughs> All right, Do Dad. you? That's three of them shits. Let's talk about what we gave this man. Out of five red cups, we Coming actually gave my me, man. Right. We gave my man FNM Moot business first. 4.1 out of five red cups, that's man. man. Like, that's a good so you score. Go right. yeah, it's an you, excellent gave, score. you gave mad shit for all that shit. Nigga, you the one that said you didn't want to listen to it. I didn't say that. That's basically what I got from what you said. Nigga, you just. I won't read. You, you said you wouldn't read. You don't. It doesn't have replay value. Nigga, just replay value is going through a drive through. If you sat through a Wendy's drive through, right. that's it. All right. That's not the point, my nigga. You're not answering the question. You're not answering the question. But whatever, man. Shout out to FNM Moot. I love this project. I thought it was fire. Uh, all right. So let's get into these guests, man, for this week. Yeah, this week, we got some of the most prolific niggas from the scene, man. Uh-huh. Some niggas who've been doing their thing for a minute. Um, you know, their name is known in many different circles. Um, we ain't never had uh, them up here as a collective. We've had two of the three out here for their individual, right. um, you know, interviews. You know, one of these niggas, he's kind of hard to get a hold of, my nigga. He be moving around a lot, my nigga. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? But... You know what I mean? When I don't they, even know if we could afford this interview. I, I don't know either, my nigga. You know what I'm I hope, niggas, niggas might send us an invoice at the end of this shit that we don't agree I'm with. I'm sending an invoice I, to an invisible nigga right now. <laughs> you know what I'm don't worry, bro. But we talking about none other than my man Cash Gotti, my man Prince Smooth, and my man Dutchy Do Bad Man. Strip, Strip life, life in the, the building. building. What up, man? What's up, baby? What's up, man? Uh-huh. Niggas know our strategy now. What up with y'all, man? Niggas say, yo, we rapping first. Fuck all that bullshit. Mm-hmm. 
No tequila shots. What, what's what's that about, man? Huh? Uh, nah, nah, that's not even. Smooth. You never been stuttering though, man. Um, yeah, I know how I go. I know how I go. I know that you say you, I heard you earlier. You say you gonna bring niggas in a little rap Olympics and shit. The rap <laughs> Olympics, shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, man, man. But how y'all doing, man? Oh, cool. Happy, Happy New Year, chillin', man. niggas. Too. Happy, Happy New, New Year, year my niggas. Show, show. Show. We the first niggas on the New Year, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. For the actual right. calendar, so kick, yeah, man. So we kicking mm. it off. Yeah. What's, your, what's yeah. y'all resolutions and shit? Let's start off with that. What y'all? I don't believe in that shit. Nah, word, right? Niggas be lying. Niggas say something. You know what I'm saying? Money, money, money. A couple weeks later, they back to that resolution. So you ain't never had a resolution that you actually went through it? I, I ain't gonna say like nah, not really. Like really? I, I probably like I, I don't even. Nah. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm be a real nigga. How's that crazy, <laughs> nigga? My, I probably forgot it's about a day, it. Or bro. It's, it's a, a whole goal. 24 hours, nigga. Bro. It's a goal for the Facts. year, bro. Facts. That you want to accomplish by the end of the year, Facts. bro. You know what I mean? You giving yourself 12 months to accomplish something, my nigga. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Yeah, no, nah, I be, I be having re- resolutions, man. My fucking um. My shit's just showing proof this year. You feel me? Okay. I ain't really talking no more. I'm just going like, you feel me? Just showing proof. Yeah, right? that's how I'm going. Yeah. I don't that's be going to my resolutions. Just just move with action. You don't yeah. speak on I think mine this year is consistency. Okay. You know what I'm so like, whatever it is, like if I'm on the workout tip, consistent with that. This rap shit, I'm consistent with that. So like this year, I just want to be consistent on whatever it is. I put my mind to, you feel me? So sure. that's my nah, shit. I respect that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. See? See, that's good shit. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, we, 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 just, we don't like to talk. You know what I'm saying? Talk about what we gonna do. We just move with action. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's real, man. I like that, man. But for the people who don't know who y'all are, man, starting with Cash Gotti, let them know who you are, what you do, what you represent. Shit, man. Cash Gotti, Gotti the boss. Don't call me a rapper. You feel me? I'm just, I'm just, just really him, man. I'm one of them niggas. Like, okay. That's it. I like that. Capitan. I mean, <laughs> if you don't know me, I should shorty. Oh, oh wow. Damn. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But other than that, it's more like that's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was copy done. And then let you your say. shorty stutter. <laughs> uh, you go you Dana White that bitch. How you know that yeah, nigga? Uh, 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 uh. Nobody talks shit about Dana White for slapping his bitch Damn, in the club. I forgot about that, my nigga. They disregarded that. Yeah, they definitely. But did. R. Kelly slapped the man. Yo, relax. <laughs> nah, I mean, I'm, I'm my fault. Go ahead. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, man, it's me. It's, you know, I'm just press moving. I represent Phil's Corner, Strip Life. You know what I'm saying? The young niggas trying to make way out the city and shit. That's all. All right, appreciate that, man. Yeah, I'm uh, Mr. Don't Only Believe Achieve Dreams, man. That's me. That you do better. All right, all right. So let's talk about strip life, man, like as a collective, because <laughs> niggas right. always hear about strip life, and they always know y'all as individuals, right? Y'all all got your own lane. Y'all all do your own thing. Cash Gotti got like one of the illest rap voices, nigga, I've ever heard. This nigga just, he talked like a rapper. He sat, like when he talked, he sound like he rapping. You know what I mean? Smooth, smooth ass nigga. Dutchy, you know what I mean? He hit you with the bars and shit like that. How did this come to be? Shit. Yeah, I I started fucking, nigga, we've been rocking since we was young, man. No funny shit. It was, at first, it was just strip life and SOH. Dutchy smooth. It was SOH okay. and a few other niggas. Okay. And you know, strip life was me and my guys and shit. So once we linked up, me and Smooth and my man Swipes, you know what I'm saying? Swipes put the put the whole collab together. Okay. Then we did strip life SOH. So we just been rocking ever since, you feel me? Okay. And just the strip life name just kind of like, you know what I'm saying, got big, you know, bigger than life. At one point, nigga, <laughs> you see everybody on Twitter was strip life, nigga. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, bitches was tweeting like, yo, who's, who's strip life? How everybody mm-hmm. in strip life and shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was lying to hoes. Just like that. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Nigga yeah, said, man. me too. If it works, it works. <laughs> Y'all niggas gotta understand. Yeah. So what, what, what does strip life mean, man? Like, what, what, what is strip life? Shit, what shit. that sound like? Like what that mean? Like you know what I mean? Strip life to family, you know? It's <laughs> like we from Phil's Corner. We all from like Phil's Corner, you feel me? Even if niggas ain't really lit it, that's that's just the vibe. That's where we was at, you feel me? Yeah, that's where y'all outside with it. Yeah, that's where we was going, you feel me? That's that's just the hood. That's just 
That's where we grew up. That's where we was kicking it. That's where we, you feel me? We did damn near everything, you feel me? Niggas can't say strip life ain't for Phil's corner. Niggas know, niggas know what's going on, you feel me? Mm-hmm. All right. Respect. So when it came to y'all, like, you know, like, what's up with, I, I want to know what the fuck is up with a, with a collaborative project, man. Like, what, when, when's that about to happen, man? Shit. I mean, I feel like we always talk about doing it, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, we always, we, we are on artists as well, you know what I mean? We trying to, like, make a make a stamp out here, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, it's going to come through. We going we gonna to make sure. And we, we, we perfectionists, too, so it's kind of like we want to make sure that's the right project, you know what I'm saying? We just don't try to add no fluff and just throw it out to the city and to, you know what I'm saying, the masses and shit like that. We ain't yeah. trying to do that. We got mad records together, all three of us, too. I know that. You know yeah, so you know, got to be like mad records. Right. You know I mean, I don't want to see. Y'all, we, y'all, got, y'all, we got a bunch of music. <laughs> y'all are all over each other's records, man. So like, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all, y'all clearly have a natural relationship where y'all could just come together and make something happen. So like, why haven't y'all focused on printing up the strip life joint? You know what I'm saying? Has that ever happened? Ever? What the strip life project? Yeah. yeah. Nah, we never did the whole project. We, we 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 always was talking about it. It was supposed to be ten on one. Fucking um. And then we supposed Shout to do out that Dunn deal because he got to. Oh. Shout out Dunny. He got to him. He got to him first. Got to him first. Got to him I ain't get to see you and say nothing, but he definitely, we definitely, we definitely think about that. Yeah, got it. You got it, gang. Yeah, yeah. Niggas all love that formula. <laughs> niggas is like, like yo, that formula don't. That formula don't. That shit sounds. That shit sounds very. So I did the free yo. Shit sounds very affluent, my nigga. Turn on the water, my nigga. Sounds very good, my nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's proven, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like you get an M6, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fire, man. Yo, so how do y'all think y'all are similar as far as like artists and how do, how do y'all feel like y'all differentiate? I feel like for me, I feel like we raised each other on this shit. You know what I'm mm, saying? Like, a lot of the shit that like we listen to, we kind of listen to a lot of the same music and shit, you feel me? So we kind of like taught each other, like, yeah, bro, you should probably come a little harder on that pause. Like, you know what I'm saying? You should go a little harder on this record. You should. <laughs> but nah, for real, though, like, you should probably go like, you should get a little more serious on this record. Like, yo, you should attack the record like this, you feel me? So like, yeah. that's kind of how we a little similar. Like, we all got different stories we telling, right. but you know, we kind of all raise each other. That's why you used to tell yeah. the same stories, but exactly. it's all different. Exactly. You know exactly. Different point of views. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know who I really want to talk to the most, man, is Gotti, man. Because Gotti, you elusive as fuck, my nigga. Yeah. You, 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 you be in and out. You be uptown, downtown, in and around the town, my nigga. Like, you, 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 the rapper that, like, don't want to rap. Right. Nah, it's not even that. I don't want to rap. It's like, Nigga, I went to LA, man. I went, I've been to LA for like going on five years, bro. I seen this shit, bro. Shit is corny. I know these niggas. What's corny? The whole industry, bro. Like, it's just mad whack shit going on on the back end. And you think it's lit, but it's not. Like on, what? Like, smoking mirrors and shit. Like, realistically. Talk about it. Like, what don't you want to do? Nigga, bro, listen, I ain't, I ain't no dick rider, you feel me? I ain't dick riding nobody, you feel me? I got my own wave. I got my own lane, you feel me? So I don't gotta, I don't feel like I gotta be in, a, in another rap niggas camp just to be, just to get around niggas, you feel me? Right. Straight, like, niggas be throwing parties. I ain't really trying to go to niggas' parties, nigga. Nigga, I throw my own shits, nigga, you feel me? We, we doing our own thing over yeah. here, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm just trying to run my own race. And I feel like, nigga, when you, when you when you doing shit like that, niggas don't fuck with you. Niggas feel like, damn, you a threat or something like that. You feel mm. me? So they try and close doors and do weird old shit like that. So I feel like when it comes to that, like, right, <coughs> especially when you a nigga from out here, right? You from Boston. You move out to L.A. You another nigga's domain, right? Uh-huh. And then you got niggas who already kind of like, you know, implemented and what's supposed to be going on and things of that nature. Oh, yeah. You, you kind of have to move around and mingle with certain people. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I attempted. I ain't go out there on no in this ment in this mentality when I first got out there. I was trying to be cool with niggas, fuck with niggas. I pull up, I do this, I rock with niggas and shit. Then you realize it's like none of this shit makes sense, bro. Like I'm kicking it with a rapper. This nigga signed this shit like that. 
I'm buying this nigga food and shit. You feel me? Like, and I'm and, and that's <laughs> Roscoe's. And I ain't even and I ain't even gonna name drop. That's just that's just who I am. It's it's whatever though. If you don't got it, it's cool, bro. That's how I move. You feel me? But it's like that shit don't make no sense to me, bro. How you sign that? You know these record big, big record labels. You got right. the deal. You got the management. You doing this. You doing that. And you on a crumb still. You feel me? No. Come on. That shit don't make no sense. So when I started peeping at, then I started looking at certain niggas weird. Then I started peeping who's who's in charge. And I started looking at them weird. Like, damn. This whole shit's some bozo shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? And I feel like the industry really against niggas trying to be independent. You feel me? Of course I think they that's are. really what's going on. That's not, that's yeah, that, it doesn't help anybody in the industry. Um, so so Dutchie, you just recently <laughs> relocated as well. Yeah. Where, where'd you go? In the A. You in Atlanta? Mm, yeah. Wakanda. <laughs> you know that. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know that. A little baby you know flying that. around in spaceships. Yeah. yeah. I'm next, but you know, that's where I'm at with it. So, so what's that like for you, man? How's that transition been? It's cool. It's cool. I'm trying to still get adjusted and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's a little, it's a little different, but a lot of Boston's out there. No funny shit. Yeah. It's, like, mm-hmm. it's like the crib. I had a lot of people that I already knew that was out there, so. Okay. It ain't really nothing too crazy. It's all right. So do y'all feel like the move was more so for music or was it just other business ventures? Opportunities. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You get more opportunities out of state. Like in the city, it's kind of like, niggas, it's like a crab in a barrel Definitely. mentality. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Damn, I don't, really? I, I, yo, it's funny because every, every time, time I be talking to y'all niggas, y'all say that to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. It is facts. Like, I don't know if it's that. Everything. I'm be 100. Music. I'm be 100, yeah. right? I don't know if necessarily if it's like these niggas on this couch on this side is like black sheep or what. But like, it's like when we come around, niggas be kind of like, oh, yeah, what up? What's up with y'all? <laughs> oh, yeah, what up? There's a few niggas who fuck with niggas. What, you know what, what y'all do to niggas, niggas, man? I don't, I don't know. Fuck they bitch. I don't know. Yo, God, I don't God, know. Smooth. God, he look like he knows more than he's leading on for niggas <laughs> to believe. I don't know what it is. I don't know, Gotti. Yeah, I don't know why they don't like niggas. <laughs> yeah. All y'all niggas be smooth. Make, y'all try to make good music. They never just trust me. It's like, always yeah. women. Niggas ain't just Can we agree? 85% of the time, it's bitches, bro. Yeah. It probably be. Sometimes it be It'll bitches. Be. Yo, Gotti, put, put a mic to it. I'm off of yeah, sometimes it be bitches. Sometimes it just be niggas just hating. Grew up a sucker, so you kind of carry them waves. Definitely. Yeah, growing up That's a sucker. sucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Growing up a sucker, you got to carry them waves. You yeah. feel me? It's hard to shake shit like that. Jeez. That dog. But yeah, I couldn't tell you why. I couldn't tell you why they don't like niggas, dog. Like, or why they just act a little, like, you know, hesitant when we pull up. Like, it been like that. Yo, you know it's crazy, right? Yeah. All of my niggas, these three niggas right here, right? Well, I'm including myself. It's have been critical into what is Boston hip-hop. You mm. know what I'm saying? Boston specifically. That's a fact. I can you know what I'm saying? That. I appreciate that. I we have never that. been nominated for no type of award ever. Period. <laughs> Why is that? Consistency. Consistency, you say, right? All right, cool. There's been artists that I've seen that have dropped one record a year. My man's here dropped, what, three projects? I've had a record that went crazy. My man's had a record that went crazy. There's people who have heard my record and never knew who I was. Over how many years, though? I'll tell you what. Run away. Why is that record never? Was that was never nothing? Because these white people ain't looking for hood classics. Hood classic? You say that's a hood yeah. classic? No, it's not. Because I was no. I got I got a deal off that record. Okay. So that would go outside of the hood. I understand what you're saying. Bro. Yeah. But then what? Then what? What? I've seen people who had no hood classic that nobody would know, and they still get a fucking recognition. And this is not to be on no weirdo shit. I'm just asking you a question. Why is it that we have never been nominated or mentioned in no kind of question? Nothing. Never. I mean, it's a fair question. I'm I mean, that goes. Me. I mean, I could even say when I was, I could, like, I, I ain't released in a little while, but it's more or less because I see what the formula out here like, I see what's going on like mm. why should I drop all the time if I'm not going like I'm not looking for my flowers but it's like like I want to be nominated for something or I want to be appreciated for something I'm doing out here for my city so right. it's like if I'm I'm dropping 2018 2019 you know what I'm saying like I'm like day late the Catalina you played you right. I was consistent right. you know what I'm saying right. like, 
Yeah, you you don't want to tap in with me. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like I I, <laughs> so, I didn't hold on. I didn't pull up to the Boston Music Awards shits and did my shaking hands with niggas dressed in nice and shit like that. Like niggas don't know what I be doing. You, you know wearing your so, Sunday's best, my nigga. I tried to. You know what I'm saying, but and, for you nothing, know what I mean? for nothing. So it's like. It's not about Man. like niggas be consistent, but it's niggas <clears throat> before like I, I I see shit that just be going I just, shit just be going on for no reason. It's just like we kind of like I'm not trying to make it seem like that, and I never try to do. I try to be humble, but it's like we kind of cemented a certain situation with, with Boston music out here. You know what I mean? So it's like when I sit back on it, it's years later on. It's like damn, like we still kind of like yo, don't forget about strip life. Right. They still them niggas. Right. It's like we always been them niggas. What you talking about? I just feel like go see your fan base, man. Not I a feel fan. like our fan I base. I feel like with us. that's what I'm saying. saying but like, it's like it's like <laughs> if the fan base ain't the fan base that they checking for or the fan base that they are in, like you just don't get that. You don't get that view. I'll say this, right? I've seen people on those lists, right? Me personally, like I said, I, I'm just asking the question because to be honest with you, no, I really we open up the dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, honestly, on, on some random shit, I don't give a fuck. You know why I don't give a fuck? Because it hasn't been. I've seen a bunch of Boston artists list and I've never been on any of them. So I'm like, I guess I'm not from Boston, right? Cool. <laughs> so whatever. Nonetheless, right? I've seen people on these lists that have not dropped a song a whole year. A whole year. Didn't see, they didn't drop shit. And they're on there. And I'm like, all right, cool. So why is it that you niggas are speaking of consistency, but all then right. there's no consistency when, when they drop it? You Let's think saying? about the Academy, right? You know what I mean? Like when we're talking about like big awards that oh, everybody the Grammys knows. And shit like that? Yeah. Grammys, the motherfucking uh the Oscars, yeah. right? There's a there's a committee, mm-hmm. right, that goes around and nominates people. Okay. So it comes down to relationships, unfortunately. Yeah, you know I mean, like you, you know what I mean? Like it, it it's it depends on who's mentioning you in the room. I mean, yeah, I think that's just everything with Boston infrastructure of just music. I, I don't think, think it's just, just whole... Boston. I think it's any not that, I mean, I can say this. Okay, so Everybody on this couch right here can say I didn't. I went to L.A. for a month and I didn't got popping way more than I ever did in five years in Boston. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the infrastructure clearly is wrong out here. It's, it don't make no sense. It's okay. like you what you got to do. Like dick ride, hold niggas hands. Like I got to sit here, buy you food. I got to do this. You're like, what? What I got to do, bro? Like I'm buying What I got to do, bro? Like, <laughs> like just to just to get like what, what, is it, what is it, bro? I don't understand. Like we didn't. Sit here and then try to figure out mad routes, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's good, he's good. Nah, he good, man. Yeah. But now nah, I, I feel what y'all are saying, my nigga, because I, it is a consistent trend. It's not with just y'all. There was niggas before y'all, after y'all, and now nah, we ain't even speaking for us. Like we speaking for other in general, too. right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you know what I'm saying, like there's a, a lot, lot of niggas rap- who are not mentioned in certain conversations, right? Yeah, hey, like fucking. I feel like the rap scene started taking off in Boston. What had a chance was with Stiz. Stiz was like, yes. Stiz was like one was of the first, first domino, first nigga on the on the YouTube doing his thing. Yeah, and, you feel me? Shit like that. Then after that, um, what they call it? I feel like after that it was replay. Six T. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Replay, replay, man. Replay. Replay's my dog. For sure. For Dad, sure. dogs. RP, my man, replay. RP. You know what I'm saying? I don't do the internet shit, but niggas know what's up. You feel me? Word. That was my man's. RP, replay. Good nigga. You feel me? Facts. I feel like even with replay situation, I feel like, you feel me? Somebody should have peeped that and, yo, I could put some money behind this nigga. I could, it don't matter what he do. He's lit. You feel mm. me? Nigga can stand in the room, no music, dance, act like he got a guitar in his hand. Right, right, right. Nigga's a hip hop <laughs> artist. You don't see shit like that. You feel me? Yeah. That nigga was a living legend, bro. Yeah. And, and instead of niggas, instead of niggas taking that nigga and being like, "Yo, bro, yo, come, come this way. Let's do this. Nah, we want to put you here. We want to take some pictures of you. Start modeling. Start doing some other shit. Them hoodies, nigga. What artist you know had a hoodie? Had a hoodie that had other rappers wearing it. Facts. Right. Come on. Right. Nigga, I was now I still got my replay hoodie. Nigga, right. I'm a dad dog. Nigga, one. you feel me? Ask for one. He had the whole city wearing that shit. You feel me? You don't see shit like that. You feel me? That's a fact. But that's a nigga right there. Why ain't replay get it there? Why ain't replay getting a good situation? Tell me, bro. There's some weird old shit going on with these niggas, bro. Y- y- y'all don't got no idea what that might be. <laughs> my nigga. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, it's politics, but it's it's more or less like I feel like. I be feeling like they don't really want nobody. Like they want niggas who they be want. in the door, close the door. 
Yeah, Facts. that's just I don't like, know what's going on. Yo, I don't bro, know what's going on over there. Like they I take who they want to win, and then once they get that person, it's like, you know, like cut everybody else out. On dogs, yo, everybody's favorite rappers be out here. I'll be one of their favorite rappers. Yeah. Mm. There's not no nigga who you could talk about. They don't know who one of the three is. Facts. Facts. On dead dogs. You could not yeah. sit here and say, right, nigga, man. any rap nigga who came up in the city, if you don't know who niggas are, you must be under a rock. The most nigga. popular right, rapper on dead no dogs. I, right, I don't go fuck what you saying. That's on dogs. So I like, agree. Nigga, and I appreciate that. But I like, agree. nigga, on dogs. So I'm not. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm standing on all business. But we talking about the BMAs. No, we now talking we about period general. and period. No, that oh, was just in it. Yo, yo I don't I give a fuck is... about BMA. They can <laughs> suck my dick. Respectfully. Wow. That's the best way to get nominated on Dead Dog. No, 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 no. But I don't care about that. Yo, but I don't care about that. We probably been using niggas for years. Like, I'm not. We didn't come here. I didn't come here to try to get nominated. I'm just saying. I get it. I make quality music. We all do. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get nominated. I'm addressing like shit. Why didn't we? You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas niggas out. Get nominated though, bro. Never though. Never. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Never. But look, but look, but look, I'm talking about like we kind of like niggas. We when it comes to this Boston music shit, like we the, like y'all been around that, we, for a minute. We kind of niggas have been here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like I get it. we never did. Not Dutch for no, like nothing. You know nothing. My shit. This nigga, that's nothing. crazy, bro. Nothing. Who, who do you feel like should have never been nominated? I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I am bro. <brilliant. laughs> like, but I ain't trying to get nominated. Yeah. Home. Nah, it's, it's cool. It is, it's cool. Man. It's whatever. It's I lived without it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But it is what it is. It's cool. That was a good one though. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I like nah, that. they was supposed to get nominated on yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Why for they sure. did? I didn't see. I didn't see niggas get nominated. They ain't even reposted. They ain't even pull up. Right. It's yeah. Real. Right. So, I seen so, niggas get nominated. I asked why I ain't get nominated. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. Like, that's that's wow. crazy work. Wow. wow. I'm hearing niggas ain't even pulling up for their nominations. Oh, so it's I mean, like, is it something to care about? Be honest. You know what I'm saying? I think some niggas. Think about it. I think some niggas just know they really not like that. So when they, they do get nominated, it. like, you know what I mean? They don't take it seriously enough. And honestly, like. The BMAs, I got, I got a a love hate relationship for the for the. Y'all niggas won twice, right? Of course we did. Okay, yeah, right. But, but you hit know the what I mean? button on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, sidebar. But but it comes down to who's paying attention to what, right? When it comes right. to the committee, right? So you got who who's in a part of the commi- committee? I don't know, right? Mm-hmm. I can't tell you who is and who isn't. All I know is that they caught wind of what we was doing. Might be because we dragged them for like months on end, my nigga. Fact, verbal talk, abuse, we, we nigga. Talk mad crazy shit about them. Um, <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, it works. You can't not notice us, right? Because our consistency is elite, bro. Like, like that. If niggas can say whatever the fuck they want to say about our opinions and things of that nature, my nigga, like, oh, this nigga should be wilding. Cash be wilding. Chanel be wilding. Whatever. All you know is that on Monday, another episode is dropping, my okay. nigga. Like, that's a fact, my nigga. That's an actual fact. And niggas, and, and it's tried and true. So I think the consistency realm of things is one of those things. Fucking, like, fans, bro, they fickle as fuck, nigga. For sure. You know what I mean? You It don't matter, my nigga, if you got the hardest album ever, my nigga, and you want to go on tour and you want to you wanna tour that album for two years. The whole time niggas gonna be asking what yo was the next But I one will driving. say this though, that shit really only apply to me and God. But can I, let me just say this something. This nigga is the most consistent out of niggas. We know. Let me just say something. So say I, something. Yeah, go ahead, bro. I had lined the show. Right? Yeah. That line show. I didn't sold the shit out then. How the nigga that opened up, I'm not even gonna bring it up. I'm not even because I how the nigga that opened up got nominated <laughs> for the what nigga open up. My it's not about who. It's <laughs> like it's it's just a nigga that opened up for this shit got nominated for this shit. And the nigga the headline of this shit didn't get nominated for this shit. That's insane. That's my point. You must have. So what? What we're trying somebody to, off. But look, understand this though. When you look at the conglomerate, that must mean that there's something that they don't fuck with. This conglomerate. This politics, bro. There's something that's about it. I don't, yo. And truth be told, again, 
I mean, I think you I know, don't give a fuck. What did y'all you know? do, my nigga? I mean, I feel like it's yeah. more or less. Yeah. We, we <laughs> do, I think it's more or less. Yo. We do. We do. We want to do. They fucked up. We do. We don't. We don't listen to. We don't. We don't. We don't listen to niggas, bro. We don't listen to niggas. We move independently. We, we don't how dick we rob. Bro. We sit here. We, we don't if, dick rob. We we make the decisions. We make the moves, bro. How we move on this side. So it's like wow. I feel like the city's like I'm not trying. Like I just feel like niggas. Niggas tell you what to do. You do it just to so you can get. You know what I'm saying? The, whatever. Like, niggas don't do that, and niggas never did. We kind of mm-hmm. just came up on our own all, the whole time. And then it just kind of just, we just kind of just kept building our little report off the cool kids. You know what I'm saying? Listening to our music and shit like that. The cool people going to the clubs, mm-hmm. popping bottles and shit. Mm-hmm. We did that. Mm-hmm. Bottle wars, doing it, paying niggas mm-hmm. music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We did that. We did all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, not no other niggas. Niggas mm-hmm. is doing that now. We, mm-hmm. yeah. we did that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> I look at it, it's like, yo, what's going on? I don't understand. I don't get it, bro. I don't, I don't really know. The, the, the cool shit that what everybody see from other states and shit like that, we go to another state, go to Cali, go to Atlanta, go to New York, some shit like that. It's love, bro. Nah, Do some shit, it's love. Mm. That's a fact. Why in my city, my nigga, I'm coming here, I'm trying to support my city. So I hear what I hear what you're saying, because I understand, like, at this point, it's like, what they supposed to do? That's why them niggas go to different states. <laughs> that's, why he in, that's why he in Wakanda. Listen bro. He in LA. <laughs> they niggas don't want to be around. Like, I get it. Like, we here because we got to be here. Like, you know what I mean? Me and you, we ain't going to go nowhere. So we going we gonna to listen, we gonna listen, listen to everything bro. that comes around this way. Nigga was down on my mans. He, he, so he I'm listening to, the, to Smooth. To I'm listening to Smooth. What you hitting me for, you nigga? You over here humming on the mic and shit. It's because you nah, got the nah, headphones on, on, nigga. You too in debt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dumb, you so. nah, but you niggas be wondering why, like, yo, consistency. It's like, yo, damn, why we gonna be consistent and not like, damn, it's like, we, we being cons- like, it's not about what we gonna be consistent for because, like, we do this. This is this is our lives, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's our, like, this is what we do. So, you it's feel smooth. like there's no appreciation here? Smooth. I said that my, 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 my people show me my, my supporters, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they with me. You smooth. know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, go ahead. I'm talking about we had dozens of episodes. Well, we dropped on YouTube and had like 30 views each. I mm-hmm. didn't give a fuck. I just kept going mm-hmm. every single fucking Monday. 100%. You know what I mean? And then every Wednesday following that Monday, it dropped on YouTube. Right. Right. So whereas now things are different, right? Yep. More people are paying attention. Yep. More people are watching us. More people are tapping in with us. I don't, you know what I mean? Like It didn't matter if niggas didn't recognize we was going to be here regardless. You know what I mean? Like we, we. I love this shit, bro. Like, whether or not I get paid a dime, nigga, ever, my nigga, Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw it up for Boston, my nigga, and hip hop, because those are the two things I love the most, my nigga, when it comes to creativity. I don't think there's no nigga in the world like a Boston nigga, bro. And I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. I will say this, right? I fuck with that. And I take Boston with me wherever I go. Where I go, I'm from there. I'm from here. And I don't fuck with the rest of them. you, You get what I'm saying? But like on Dead Dogs, at the same point, I don't give a fuck about nothing that's going on as far as like the community of music here. The as infrastructure. Far as the infrastructure. Right. I respect the niggas I respect right. because they show me the respect. That's mm-hmm. why we come here because y'all niggas show us the respect. Right. You respect. feel what I'm trying to say? Right. Yeah. Outside of that, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Oh, yeah, nigga, we from Boston. Nigga, suck my dick. You know why? <laughs> because I built it on my own. Right. We built it on our own. Right. It wasn't no nigga showing us the love and none of that. Nigga, we standing on business. Like, and that's just what it is. Like I don't care about none of that. But nigga, we gonna carry it the same way everywhere we go. Nigga, I'm Boston. We from Boston. Nigga, we throw it. We throw the threes when we out. You know what I'm saying? I like yeah. in the club. You know what I'm you know saying? Right. We in the club. We throw the threes. But on dead dogs, bro. Off of Phil's corner. Yeah, <laughs> specifically <laughs> Phil's corner. Yes, we gotta you know get specific. Off, nah, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> we, gotta get, we gotta get specific. So, so when you go to LA, niggas ask you where you from. You say Phil's corner. Phil's corner. 100%. 100%. I say on dogs. On dead dogs. dogs. Mm-hmm. Dead dogs. Oh, dead dogs. Nigga. I'm from Phil's corner. They're gonna ask you to elaborate what you say. It's in Boston. It's in Mass. It's in Boston. Don't say Mass, bro. That's niggas who say that shit there. Not from Boston. I'm from Boston. Yeah, that's the out of town. You know what Phil's going is up. All right. That's the out of town phrase. Mass is out of town phrase. I'm saying, I'm just, that's just what I'm used to. I'm saying, I come from a different situation. I'm sorry. So I just don't know, man. Niggas don't know, man. You're not saying Mass. They know Boston, though. Mm hmm. A nigga okay. who's not from Boston, God say mad. And I always say that. I always sure. say that. Uh, 
respectfully. It though. doesn't matter where you from in Mass. If you outside, if you outside of Mass, my nigga, you go to any other state. They go, you're Boston. Yeah, they don't know nothing else about Massachusetts, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, what I mean, they might know Cambridge because of Harvard and MIT, mm-hmm. but they don't know like the, the 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 movers and the shakers in Cambridge. They don't know like niggas who move around in Cambridge. They don't know nobody. Like they, all they know is Boston. You got the Celtics. Mm-hmm. You got the Pats. White shit. The Red Sox. Baked beans. I ain't never had baked beans in my life. Y'all mm-hmm. niggas had baked beans? Nah, nah never. I ain't. I don't, never. I ain't they don't even know black niggas is dying. Boston baked beans. Is that really a thing? I always thought that, my niggas. It's always yes, a shit. I... Boston baked beans. I, have I ain't it. never had no Boston. You had baked beans? I... Yeah. You had baked beans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was you at? I was a kid, nigga. Oh, yeah. You grew up in Dedham and shit. Yeah, yeah. that's right, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> them sacks. That's right. Yeah. That's the problem with Boston now. That's what they want you to see. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like. They don't want to see some real niggas from coming from the streets, you know what I'm saying, trying to make something out right. of nothing, you know what I mean? They want to, they want their artists, you know what I'm saying? So what do we do about that? I mean, like you mm. said, we got to be I mean, consistent. bro, niggas got to cut, <laughs> niggas just got to cut the dumb shit, bro. That's all, bro. You see a nigga doing this thing, push that, bro. Push mm. it, bro. Don't matter where the niggas from or what, what he got going on. Now, if... Nigga, nigga killed your man. It's cool. You don't gotta push That's a nigga. Different. Shit. That's very personal. But, but I, I didn't see. Very seen, personal. I didn't see niggas dick ride. Shit. Very specific. I didn't see niggas like dick, who? Bro, I didn't see niggas dick ride. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, this nigga's crazy. This nigga's crazy. I didn't see niggas drink enough. He ain't drink enough. On a real nigga tip. <laughs> on a real nigga tip. I didn't see. I didn't see niggas. I didn't see niggas be like, yeah, I ain't listening to these niggas because I listen to these niggas. Like, yo, what type of shit are you on, nigga? You ain't even from neither neither side, bro. Right. I mean, like, we didn't play niggas and high niggas <laughs> music playing and no, 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 I wasn't even gonna say that. You know what the crazy thing was I was gonna say? Have you ever noticed, right? Every artist that's popping, like maybe an exception for a few, has got caught up in some kind of crazy court case. Yeah. It's crazy. Every artist that has been popping, like even recently. Yeah, recently, very even, recently, yo, even including myself. Oh my god! Every every artist has got caught up on a gun charge or something else. Yeah, I read about you in the paper. Yeah, real shit. It was crazy. Real shit. You wow. know what I'm saying? But like, that's that's real impressive. Shit. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's not really how it went. But yo, but no dogs. Like it's just a real thing. You, you see, you can't take you can't even take shit like that from niggas, bro. Like you feel me? Like this shit is real, bro. That's the problem right there, bro. You acting like what, what what niggas do? This is the type of shit that's going on, bro. You feel me? This is where we come from, bro. But that's you know what I'm saying? hey, nigga. It's like you go apply for yeah. a job. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm proud, but this is what it is. This is a job interview. I nah, gotta be exactly. No, nah, nigga, me? with us, nigga, it oh, yeah. is what it is. We know, nah, like we, we I, not y'all, not y'all. Yeah, but mean, I'm just like, saying, figuratively speaking, you feel me? Is this supposed to be some sort of? This is what it is, right? So like, you know what I mean? if you rapping, my nigga. What are we rapping? I'm about, a rapper, right? bro. Rapping about, cool. Bro. Like I know a lot of niggas be rapping and be lying about what they be talking about, but yeah. niggas be actually talking about like the, real life you instances. Saying it's like it's like yeah. paint a picture, bro. So it's like. What do you want me to do, bro? That's why I come Bro, from. they want the fake shit, bro. That's what it is. Bro. What y'all think about that thug situation? Oh, man. Thug situation is sad, bro. It's really right? sad. It really is. You know what I'm saying? That's a sad situation. That's a sad case. <clears throat> yeah, man. You feel know me? It's tough, man. You got, it's too crazy, many, man. you got too many niggas in your circle, bro. You can't control all of that. Everybody want to run around a honey deep until... Nigga, what you got? How many rats is in that safe then, We bro? had that before. Come that on, bro. Crazy. We had we had mad niggas in the safe. We had you to had, cut them off. You had niggas rat on you? Like, nah. in your own circle type shit? Bro, nigga, come on, bro. I had niggas I grew up with ratted, bro. Not on you us, know what I'm saying? That's insane. Nigga, I done had niggas rat on the young bulls, nigga. Where they at now? Not they around, around us. Not around, bro. <laughs> they not around. They not, not out around here. around us. Niggas on bad timing. Well, I well either way, man. I mean, like, what's next? Why y'all listening to, listen to Gunner and stuff? I don't. I, I never even liked Gunner. That's a good real. question. I never liked Gunner no, before. Then, nah. So like, I, was, I, I I couldn't even name one song. That, you said Gunner. that. You said I, you said how y'all feel. So I just y'all listen. To that nah, Gunner. that's the situation. That's the situation. Just seems like mad stuff. fucked up. Yeah. Well, the situation's yeah. The situation's <laughs> dirty, my nigga. Like, I heard even like the nigga Um Funk ain't that his brother or some shit. Yeah, he gave him permission. Yeah, it's the only nigga he gave permission to. They say allegedly. I don't know. Hey man, so so, so so basically, he gave him permission to rap. I guess. 
You um, gotta, if you gotta get I permission, guess. no, 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 no. So, so that would mean whatever it means for Gunner and all the rest. He's of like, yo, I, I gave him a green light. Okay. That mean that's okay to do. Have y'all have y'all been seeing what's up with the Boston Richie thing? Mm. It's fucked up. His name is our city, but have y'all been seeing? He's what's from like on? Texas or some shit. He's from Florida, Florida. 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 Tallahassee. Yeah. Yeah. Tallahassee. Now what happened? Um, I don't know. Allegedly, he told. Mm. So I don't know. I should look into that. It works so. out. Yeah, that's what they say. And then what happened after that? Like after I get, I heard, I heard that he told on two cases. Yep, two of them things. So it's <laughs> fucked up because his name is our city. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I was just asking y'all because y'all asked about. So, why, why I, fuck, I fuck with like, dogs? Music. I think I think it was off of the Boston George vibe. Boston George, yeah. Okay, okay. And he fuck with weed and shit. Mm. Allegedly. Okay. Well. Right. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's a bad look for niggas. Man. Yo, ba- yeah, yo, that movie Blow hurt my heart. I watched that movie and I was, f- I felt, yo, well, my heart was. Shit. When they all told on him at the end. Damn, why you telling yeah. me that? I ain't finished Oh my shit. damn, Brody. <laughs> but like, I just, <laughs> yo, but like, yo, nigga, that's on you, nigga. Man, like, I'm on that movie been fuck. out, nigga. Like, come on, old yo. Fuck. But I'm just gonna say, I watched that movie. I was hurt. Yeah. I was real life hurt. I need to be held. Yeah, when I was like, Pete Cruz yeah. was screaming <laughs> on the highway, like he got a kilo in the trunk. That oh, shit, man, bro, it was like that. Was when, when, when shit, his, that nah, was, when, was bad. When his mom told like on that. him, when his mom got him, nah, him nah, yeah, that, that, that shit hurt. Crazy. Make you want to cry, nigga. That was hurt. It's like, yo, I seen that coming, though. His mother. I seen that coming. I was real. Cry, nigga. You hear niggas telling his shit. I seen niggas tell with their mom. My mom was my code D, nigga. Like, she would fucking go down. Yeah, as a gangster. With the whole shit. I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? My mama would tell, but I fuck with the I love my mama though. She my a real, mom would not she a real nigga with nigga. certain shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know my mom, my nigga, they know, nigga. Like so like mm. when I seen that scene, nigga, and I was like, damn, his mother did that shit. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy to me, my nigga. But either way, my nigga, um, <laughs> You know, we, we we talking about a lot. We 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 talking in circles, man. Right, yeah. right now. But like, I really want to hear from y'all, man. Like, why why y'all want to come up here, man? Like, what, what, what's up? Hey, God. Oh shit, we want to come up here. Do you feel me? Let niggas know we coming in hot this year for real. Mm-hmm. You feel me? All that uh, fake friend shit. We're cutting that shit short. You feel okay. me? You don't fuck with niggas. We don't fuck with y'all. Right. Straight like that. You feel me? That's and funny. it's like, nigga, that's how we coming. You feel me? No more in between shit. You feel me? We just want to let niggas know. And we dropping mad new music. Okay. We got mad shit going on now. Okay. You feel me? We got rented cars. We got rented cars <laughs> from in Boston, New York, Miami, and LA right now. You okay. feel me? That's fire, we working on man. Atlanta. You oh, feel me? Oh, that, man. That's fire. Thank you, bro. Body, Young Entrepro Negroes, nigga. I like that Entrepro shit. Entrepro Negroes. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like Puff that shit. Progressing, yeah, nigga. Y'all niggas is doing your fucking Andrew thing. Entrepro Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> we, trying to, we trying to make it happen. You feel me? We trying to like, you feel me? Get this shit, get this shit done the right way in real life. Everybody trying to do all this fake it till you make it shit. What's the point, bro? You putting just as much effort in faking shit. Mm-hmm. Right. You might as well really get it done. You feel me? Might really as well get make something it. Popping, you feel me? Might as well make it. Bluffing don't pay no bills, my nigga. And then let shit catch up to whatever it is. You feel me? Word. What about you, Smoke? I mean, man. I'm just on the same type of time I've been on, bro. I kind of was on a little hiatus. Not for no reason. I just, we just been doing mad music, bro. I've been. Moving in and out the city, bro. Yeah. Just work with different producers, trying new vibes out and shit like that, bro. Yeah. Got a lot of music, bro. You had a recent birthday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to that. Yeah, man. Shout out to that. Shout out to your lady for, for, you know what I mean, hitting me up to host the joint, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. She the I best, felt like bro. a celebrity and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I, mean? you like, I felt like a celebrity. Yeah, you so I'm glad, I'm glad I was, I was at your party, my nigga. You know what I mean? I was like, wow, nigga. Like, I'm, glad I'm on that, the red bro. carpet right now. I'm glad to hear bro. that. You know what I mean? It was a good time, man. That's what it's time. about, my nigga. It was that's a good time. That's what it's all about, bro. That's what I, I mean. That's what I like to do, man. Even if it didn't even come from me. You know what I'm saying? She know the boss. Your uncle's an old nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Listen, bro. You know I get it from me. Yeah, you know what I'm He one of them guys, bro. You know what I'm saying? Definitely one of them guys. That's he didn't even nigga. tell me his name. He introduced himself as Unk. Nigga. Um, <laughs> that nigga was like, Benzino's bodyguard, bro. Okay. <laughs> nigga, All right. Like dogs, nigga. Okay. All right. I, I, I said, my name. If you know, you know, my yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> dog, you know what I'm saying? For real. For real. Yeah. yeah. But it, 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 I, I was glad that I was able to be a part of that, man. It, it um, 
it just made me feel great about the culture that we got going on out yeah, here, man. And that's what we kind of like, what we talking about, bro? When it right. comes to the city, bro, when it comes to like people that we created relationships with, when it comes to the music, bro, that's what we care about, bro. When it comes to the infrastructure, bro, fuck all that, bro. Niggas can eat a dick, bro. Don't so they just got to pay more close attention, man. I mean, well, they just got to just... Oh, cut the out with the old. Yeah, with they the paying new, attention, bro. bro. They paying attention. Out with the They've old and with the new, bro. You, you see, but me? here's the thing, right? I done heard my style from a lot of niggas. There's <laughs> not. There's, I, don't <laughs> think, I don't think there's no real niggas on that committee. And I think that you know, what I mean, I'm talking about the BMA specifically. Yeah, right? yeah, that's the problem. You know, they I don't need, think there's no they need real y'all niggas up there. You feel but me? Then, that, I gotta give up the award. I can't win. I don't. I don't want to not win because I want to win for at least another five years. But you'll help the city out. You feel me? Yo, help the city because y'all niggas will be putting them niggas on to what's going on you out here. You want to sacrifice that cash? You feel me? I'm with that. I mean, that's nigga, you ain't going to stop doing now, the podcast. Bro. That's the problem with these DJ niggas. You still do the podcast. You can still do the podcast. You just played. You just played. You said you, you, say you just did two niggas on um, projects. I didn't listen to them projects. You feel me? Right. Not saying I don't fuck with them niggas or nothing. I just don't. I just wasn't hip to the projects. You right. feel me? But a lot but of other niggas, a lot of niggas lot of probably ain't hip either. You feel me? Y'all niggas could be the nigga playing them projects for the BMA niggas. Like, yo. I'm gonna put more people from the city, city in the, in y'all niggas' face. You feel me? Right, right, right. They ain't gonna hurt. It's not like y'all gotta stop doing a podcast to do that. That's real. That's a quick real. little DM yeah. or email or whatever. Just that giving niggas like, yo, we gonna we gonna broaden this shit up. Streets. That's real. For sure. That's niggas. why y'all won two years in a row, right? I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Who else is going to win, my nigga? Come on, I mean, I was, bro. Man, you know? I would have stole some shit. D-Man went to jail. So, like, he was, a, I mean, he was free the only one that was free, free D-Man, man. D-Mo, yeah, you man. know that. Free my nigga. Free D-Man, man. D-Mo, free D-Mo, man. 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 You know what I'm saying? So Paul shit, no whole shit. My nigga, BNF, nigga. You know what I mean? But, like, you know, he he was only real competition. He went to jail, so. Nigga, we up, nigga. It's us, nigga. It's crazy. Nah, 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 nah. But, but, free but, the bro, man. Nah, free the dog, bro. On that dog. On that dog. On that dog. <laughs> yeah. But Dutchie, what you want to come up here and highlight niggas about, bro? Hey, man, I'm about to drop a new project. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like called, that talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on time, man. I, didn't, I know I ain't come up here and rap. I know I'm a buster, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't even know I was going to be here today. I'm a dog. We didn't even, um, man. It was a yeah, pleasant surprise, yeah. bro. Nah, I fuck with y'all niggas, though. Y'all know that. But um, it's called, um, my project's called... Uh, Damn, what's the name of my project? Man? Wow, that's so insane. I got a lot. I got a few though. That's okay. why. But the, the one that I'm about to drop is um, Corner Boy Fleas. Okay. Corner Boy Fleas. It's definitely I, I went a little bit more on the street way. Wave. What, what that means for you? Um, that's just really who I am. Like the mm. everyday me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's the everyday me. So it's like nigga, you like the Friola was kind of more or less like you know the shit that I had that didn't make the projects and shit like that because I was gonna do a bigger project but this one is just the everyday me me just talking about like everything that's going on on the everyday okay. you know what I'm saying I like that like just the everyday that's why it's like I brought I brought you to the corner you know what I'm saying mm. the everyday so it's corner boy fleas Friola, man. yeah yeah for sure for sure but corner boy nah. fleas that's what niggas call me so so what's going on for 2023, man? 2023, man. I know you said it's gonna be a lot more dropping, but when 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 are we expecting that? Next okay. week. Oh shit! This Next week we dropping. All right. Yeah, and like I said, showing and proving. You feel me? I'm gonna just slam it. Like you say, you drop. How you say? I'm, I mean, videos. You say you dropped a dozen videos. You only got thirty views. Fuck it. It yeah, is man. what it is, nigga. Right. You still put it out. Right. And now you here. You feel me? Right. Think about it. You right. feel me? You just gotta keep going. Nah, I like that. <clears throat> well, I got um. I mean. Like God said, I got two projects coming this year, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling we got to get some substance. You know what I'm saying? We got to get niggas. This shit niggas been waiting for, niggas been looking for. So I ain't even about to like, I usually be like waiting and like hitting, giving niggas low vibes. But like, you know what I'm saying? I got, um, if niggas really know how I give it up, like with my projects, I drop March 31st for my brother, September 14th for my brother. So I'm going to drop two projects on them days, trips to the valley. And then um, that's a little EP, you know what I'm saying? Just giving niggas a vibe of like what I've been just tuning up with, you know what I'm saying? But doing? No Service in the Hills is kind of like if niggas kind of see my vibe on my Instagram, I got the little No Service and shit. Mm-hmm. I've been distant, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of been staying in the vibe, just working on new sounds and shit like that. So I just want to just showcase my work. That's all. So No okay. Service in the Hills is basically that. I just, that's it, bro. All right. That's real. I see. A, I hear a lot of LA talk, man. Um... Have y'all connected with Bia? <laughs> nah, mm, no, 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 no. I like that punch line. Nah, that's a good question, man. What's up with Bia, man? Hey, man, shit. It's a long story with that girl, bro. Hundred percent. 
Monster. And a whole lot of money. <laughs> and this motherfucker. <laughs> that might be falsified. <sighs> I don't know. You, you, I don't Show know. Me. You know what? You know what? I'm going to tell you what happened. And you give me the judge on what's going on over there. Because I'll be having questions too. You feel me? So basically, her, her and her man was staying at my man's crib. You know what I'm saying? In Hollywood, penthouse, cost sixty five hundred a month. You feel me? Okay, that's a pretty penny. Pretty penny. You feel me? Yeah, I ain't got it. I guess, I guess, homie was already living there for you know like six months or whatever. Okay, couple. You know, he was doing his thing, paying his money or whatever. Right. Nobody knew this bitch for your and cups her up. was living with this. Nobody knew she was living with this nigga. You feel me? Mm. This nigga stopped paying rent for like two and a half months. Mind you, he's subleasing the crib from another nigga, my man's. My mm. man's calling me like, yo, uh-uh, this nigga in my crib, not trying to leave, not trying to pay the rent. And he's talking on, on gangster timing. Like, who gets tough with their landlord? You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, hey, I ain't going nowhere. You're going to have to drag me out, that type of shit. Mind you, he's subleasing on some homie shit. Like, yo, you can stay at my crib. Just pay the, pay the rent. You good. You feel mm -hmm. me? Right. <clears throat> shit, man. Long story short, I get a call. Yo. Pull up over there with the building managers, you feel me? And um the locksmith. Homie guy get out the crib, go with this, go with the locksmith and the building managers to change the locks. You feel me? Yeah. Think about it. You feel me? We go to the crib to change the locks. Yo, yeah, long story shit. short, bro. I'm gonna make it long story short. Shorty and her man got evicted. You feel me? They had to get out of there. They were supposed to vacate the premises. Oh shit. So when the locks got changed. They already, they already died, they died. Get the fuck up out. It's gone. You out of here. You feel me? Next day, getting a whole bunch of calls. Da 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 da. Oh, oh, oh. Why is niggas saying you robbed this girl? Why niggas saying you broke in it? Oh, fuck. I'm like, this girl? What girl? You feel me? Niggas start talking about this shorty. And I'm saying here like, damn. So homies, so this was his girlfriend. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Long story short, she running around with my name in her mouth talking like, oh, I did all types of different things when you wasn't paying your rent. You feel me? Mind you, this shit happened like a year and a half ago, right? Cool. There wasn't a whole lot of money in that month. Wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told where the, you. Where was the I whole lot of... Where, 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 <laughs> That was a legend. Think about it. That was a that legend. That was a legend. Yo, okay. Cash, you got to chill. Continue, man. gang. Continue. Tell your listen, story. Tell listen. your story, boy. Listen, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> What's wrong with this? They should have been going They should have been going half on rent or something. You feel me? Oh, bad. Yeah. So, long story short, Shorty tried to take the, take, take the beef on her shoulders, telling everybody she don't fuck with me, don't fuck with this nigga, you know? Try to blackball a nigga for a minute, you feel me? So is that what you was referring to as far as this industry bullshit? Oh, that's just one person. Oh, oh shit. Well, yo, crazy shit. stories a real thing, my nigga. You feel me? I got a song about to drop called Crazy Story. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. I'm telling you, bro, there's a there's a million crazy stories with these characters and individuals. You feel me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yo, they all characters, G. So so look, right? Long all right, story keep short. Going, keep going. Keep this going. happened a year and a half ago, right? So you know how y'all saying a whole lot of money. Yeah. Shorty posts me up on her Instagram, all types of shit. The day she drops, whole lot of money. You feel me? Trying to be funny, you feel me? Imagine that. You mm. posting me up, <laughs> you feel me? On your page, the day you drop the song. Doing what? Posting you up, saying what? Hey, listen, bro. Shorty was doing, Shorty's, Shorty's a bug out, you feel me? Whatever she was trying to do, I don't know. So long story short, right? <laughs> long story short right I'm just like whatever bro what I look like beefing with a female you feel me that's right, corny right, you feel right, me right. mind you when your man owe the rent money right you feel me your right. man's ain't you feel me let's be real owe a whole lot of money in this motherfucker bro you feel me two and a half <laughs> months you, creep, you creeping in on 15,000 you feel me you gotta get up out of here 65, if you don't it 6,500 a, a month that's 78 grand a year think about it you yeah. feel me but this is what niggas is trying to pay to, you know, pay the plate. Yeah. But you go through hard times. And, and the funny thing is, right, my man's who, um, my man's whose crib it was. That nigga's like a multi-millionaire on paper, all of that. Good okay. nigga, you feel me? Okay. So he, so they living in his crib. Bro, they was already kicking it for like a year. He said the nigga was doing good business with him. Everything was good. He basically was telling me, he's like, bro, if the nigga would have told me, yo, I'm going through some things. I don't got it right now. You feel right. me? My man's, would've, my man's would have been like, yo, I right. feel you. Mm -hmm. But all that gangster shit because you don't got the money is crazy. You feel me? Right, right, Not right. when it come to rent. 
Right. Not for rap money, G. Bluffing right. no pay. This is crazy, you feel me? I ain't never so seen look. a nigga gangbang on their landlord. Nah, that's wild. <laughs> Not for the rent, G. Hold on, hold on. It get even crazier, right? It gets it's, crazier. It gets deeper. Oh, deeper shit. than rap. Shorty making, shorty making 100 phone calls. Her man claiming her man claiming he's this, he's this gang and he's that gang. Uh, whole bunch of other shit, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm keeping it cool. I'm chilling. I'm falling back because it's like she's turning this into an issue with her. And it's yeah. not, a, it was never an issue with her. Her right. man owed rent money. You feel right, me? right. This is about rent, G. You right. feel me? So everybody niggas that went and bold faced lied to, gonna sit there and think, like, damn, it's about rent, G. Like, <laughs> you feel me? Where was your friends at? Why didn't they help you pay this rent money? You feel me? Mm. All them, all, you feel me? That's crazy, G. You feel me? That's insane, bro. So look, right? Mind you, this is... Yo, she posted me up when she dropped the record, bro. Mm. This shit happened like two days before the record dropped. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Eviction. She got to go. you up saying what? Bro, posted me up trying to be funny. You feel me? Like, she did some weird shit. Like, you feel me? Trying to be funny, bro. For real. That's just... She was trying to be mm. funny. You feel mm. me? And work. <clears throat> but whatever. You feel me? I'm telling niggas this story because she's going around telling niggas all types of old boo-boo the fool tales. Like, oh, niggas robbed me. Niggas did this. Niggas did that. Mm. Crazy story, right? Nigga. That's different. We going to fast forward, right? I'm telling niggas the story. Niggas is looking at me a little, yo, come on. You telling me she don't got her rent money? That's crazy. Or oh, he don't got the rent money? You know, all this, all this right, shit right. they flex on a gram and all this crazy shit, right? Right, right, right. Come on, G. Nigga, <clears throat> why the fuck this nigga getting evicted, nigga, right now in LA? You feel me? I got the works on it. You oh, feel me? Got the shit. niggas' paperwork. Oh, this is this month, shit. nigga. This is 2023. Dog getting evicted, bro. Mm. On dead dogs, this nigga, is, again. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is habitual rent dodges, nigga. <laughs> this is what's going on here. These people don't like paying rent, nigga. It's a habitual rent dodge. And I'm assuming. <laughs> And, and, and I'm assuming they coming up with the story to tell niggas now because they probably threatening another landlord or whatever. You feel me? Like, right. You feel me? They got beef with them niggas too. They got to. This is what they do. Squad is <laughs> You feel real. me? They squatters, bro. They need to stop paying rent, bro, and stop living in shit, living in shit they can't afford. Feminist That's the craziest squatters. story. The squatters, nigga. Real listen. Yeah, that's nigga. crazy. It's a crazy story, nigga. On dead dog. Platinum squatter. Is platinum crazy. squatter, <laughs> nigga. A platinum squatter. Hit the button. Hit the button. They should yeah. apply for RAF, nigga. Rent oh, assistance. Nigga, shit. award for that. Insane. That's oh, crazy. my What's God. What's going on, bro? Crazy. So I'm assuming the the collaboration is not gonna happen at this. Oh point. hell no, G. I mean, you not... feel me? And, it's the, right. and that's the thing, bro. I don't. I never had a problem with this girl, bro. Right. Never had an issue with this girl. Her man wasn't paying rent. Right. This was a man thing, bro. Your man wasn't paying rent, bro. Right. All them, all them, all them crazy ass shits. Niggas should have just used that money to pay rent, bro. So it was you a situation me? with her man. He ain't do what he had to do. He ain't do what he had to and do, bro. He ain't shit do what happened. he had to do. Right. She's doing all this crazy shit, gangster timing, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm in an airport by myself, running to this nigga. Run down on him. Yeah, bro. What's up? What's up that shit, bro? You feel me? Like, mm. your shorty's running around, posting me up, doing all this weird shit. Mm. You thought I wasn't going to run into you, nigga. I caught you by yourself, nigga. You feel me? Because he be mm. running around with security all the time. Mm. And that's some gangster shit, I guess, nigga. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to run up with, with a security guard on some weird shit. So I called him, had a conversation with the nigga. The nigga basically asked him how we can make this right. Mm. I told him, bro, how are we going to make what right, bro? Tell your shorty, stop talking about me, bro. Mm. You know what the situation is, bro. You know you owe rent money. Trying to explain to me how he didn't owe the rent money. Something else happened. I'm like, bro, I don't even care, bro. This is what happened. You know what's going on, bro. Tell your shorty, fall back, bro. You feel me? I didn't even know about all that, man. Yes, hey, listen, I'm crazy. telling you what it is, nigga. It's crazy story. I told you we coming in hot this year. You feel me? <laughs> I kept it cool, bro. On dead dogs, I kept hot. it cool, bro. But on dead dogs... Every every action comes with a reaction. Nah, and niggas know what they're doing, you feel me? Right. I ain't even gonna put it out, you know what I'm saying? Niggas know what type of weird shit niggas is on. You feel mm. me? But that's the difference with me and a lot of other niggas, bro. I'm out here, bro. We here, bro. You feel me? Niggas ain't dodging no wreck, bro. You feel me? Like for mm. real. Mm. Niggas is out, mm. niggas is out here, bro. We outside, bro. You feel me? Come on. Hey man, I ain't got nothing nah, to say. Nah, ducking no wreck. I feel like Come he on, really bro. not. Yeah, I, I, don't know, I, 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 I don't even know what to say to that. Yeah. All I know is um, 
Just be doing us at the end all, of the day. All, all I can say is, I guess not everything is as is as it seems, right? Yeah. From what I've been told, yeah, my nigga, you yeah. know what I'm saying. And mind you, bro, I'm telling you, this shit happened a year and a half ago. If I wanted to be on some clout chasing or some shit, I could have did it when she dropped the song. Right. Told niggas what it was. Nah, none of that, bro. Every action comes with a reaction, and niggas know what they doing. You feel me? Nah, speak your truth, my nigga. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man, nigga, shit. That's what I'm saying. Because you know, a lot of times in the industry, my nigga, a lot of niggas go through shit, and they just keep that. They just take that shit on the chin. And they just don't mention it. They don't even talk about it. Thinking that, like, I mean, it's like the real thing to do. And, like, you know what I mean? And in some instances, I get it. Sometimes it can be. But at the end of the day, my nigga, if you felt like you was done wrong in, in, in situations that you really had nothing to do with, my nigga, tell talk you, on that I, shit, bro. Tell me talk you, bro. on that shit. So, like, yeah, yeah I, I, I feel I'm you, tell my me, nigga. bro, and niggas is putting out these false narratives. Oh, it happened like this. It happened like that. Like, right. nah, nigga, you know how it happened, bro. You know what happened, bro. Well, shit, man. It's old money, bro. You feel me? It's simple like that. <laughs> and, this is the, and this is the craziest part about it, bro. It's like niggas is still out here trying pump fake, pump fake moves, bro. Yeah. Don't make no, don't make no sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just mm. seen niggas come. I just seen niggas try to come from, come from fucking nigga. Her man's from Connecticut, bro. Mm. I just seen niggas try to come from Connecticut. And act like they was in the hood, but they was at some strip club in Worcester. Mm. Nigga, dogs a rat, nigga, and you know who you know who I'm talking about, nigga. Mm. He's a rat, nigga. Mm. See, y'all niggas came out here to mm. kick it with a rat to try and prove niggas was on gangster time and some shit. Mm-hmm. Didn't make sense either, nigga. This mad mm. weird old bozo shit that I done seen niggas pull, bro. Mm. And I'm just keeping it a hundred. You feel me? Nah, hey, yes, bro. come on. Yeah, now niggas is gonna want to take them pictures down on off they page and shit. <laughs> 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 Dogs. Look, man, I don't even know how to end this off. Anything y'all want to end off with, man, before we take this shit to a close, man? Like, we coming in hot, bro. Like, coming in hot, G. You feel me? Straight like that. We coming in hot, bro. You feel me? Out with the old, in with the the new. new. If you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, bro, there's somebody else that's going to come and take your position, Mm -hmm. bro. There's young niggas out here that's doing their thing in the city. They rapping, they fired. They even taking trips to do videos. Mm. Nigga, I felt like I was one of the first artists from the city who took a, took a trip and did a video, you mm. feel me? Niggas thought I wasn't even from Boston at first, mm. you feel me? Mm-hmm. Because sure. all my videos sure. was in Miami or some other spot. Right. Because this is what's lit. This is what it's supposed to look like, you feel right. me? Y'all niggas just trying to do some other shit, and that's not what it is, bro, you feel me? Mm. I feel like when niggas know what's going on, bro, we used to have we used to hit niggas up, bro. Yo, how we get on these blogs? We trying we try to get our shit on blogs just like you, bro. Right. Niggas like, yo. Don't worry, just post your shit. The blogs will pick it up. It's yeah. gonna come natural. Okay. I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. I get to LA. I'm like, yo, yo, how I get on these blogs? They're like, yo, ain't you from ain't you from the city? You know them niggas, the niggas who run the blogs. Like, why don't you fuck with them niggas? Mm-hmm. You could pay them niggas. And I'm like, gee, niggas ain't even trying to get money out here. That's the problem, That's bro. That's crazy. The infrastructure. Yo, yo niggas, yo, yo, niggas hate on Chubby Chubb, right? Niggas hate on DJ Chubby Chubb. You know why I fuck with Chubby Chubb? I fuck, my with man. Ch- I fuck with Chubby Chubb because Chubbs is a, Chubbs is a nigga who you know saying, yo, I'm trying to get my shit spin. I ain't say no more. Yeah. Ah, ah, just hit me off. Yeah. You feel me? And yeah. he'll be transparent about it. He was nigga, one of the first niggas that played my saying? show on the radio when I used to rap. Yo, yeah, regardless of what, so. nigga, yo, just hit me off. I got yeah. you, nigga. You yeah. feel me? There's niggas who act like nigga, like even E double, you feel me? I don't got no issue with the nigga, but I don't like the way how he play like a gatekeeper to the radio and shit. Mm. Bro, at least charge niggas, bro. Do do something that's gonna make sense, bro. You feel me? Like, you play gatekeeper to the radio as if, like, only your opinion counts. And then you only doing on a Sunday tip. If I was if I was in his position, I'll hustle through it. I'll be like, yo, I'm talking to the owners of the radio. They say five bands for a little placement. I can get you spanned all month or 10 bands or whatever. And these are the deals I'm doing. Make two bands on top of it and let it rock. Not everybody can afford what you can afford, Cash mm-hmm. Gotti. Mm-hmm. It's not even that, bro. Nigga, do a, do a, do a fifteen hundred dollar package for a nigga. Do a thousand, yo. Give me spin on Monday on the radio. I mean, let's figure Come out some, some type of way we all can eat. You right, know what I'm saying? right. Nigga, I mean, we'll just be transparent about it, bro. I mean, that's what I, I can't want. make no moves over here, nigga. And I'm, I'm only on this one hour. I want to leave with that. As far as like that, be what, like, bro, to promote. I be. I want to leave with this, bro. Like, I just want 2023, bro. I want the promoters and the DJs to do something different this year. Like, play niggas' music, bro. Like, mm. niggas have a platform, bro. Like. My nigga, like, it's not just us that's making fine music, bro. Like, why niggas got to come outside and pop bottles and shit for niggas to play niggas' music, bro? It's a lot of niggas that make fine music, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, and when niggas play me- niggas' music in the club, like, stop with the whole 
support local Boston artists. Like, come on, bro. Like, bro, respect let it niggas, be what bro. It is. Like, let it be what it is, bro. Right. Like, let niggas live, bro. Let niggas understand, bro. You got something that you trying to do, bro. It's if I fun. can shake the room, I can shake the room. It don't matter yeah, if bro. I'm like, from Make here a difference, bro. That's right, what it's right, about, right, bro. Right. Don't be saying, hey, just getting a check, bro, just to get a check, bro. Like, do the shit for niggas. If you really doing stuff for Boston, bro, like, it's a lot of fire artists out here, bro. Play right. the niggas music in the club, bro. There's a, a few DJs I fuck with. I fuck with Storm, Cisco, okay. J the DJ. Okay. You feel yeah. me? DJ Shout Chris. Out those guys. Shout you feel me? Guys. DJ Chris, of course. That's the that's the in house. That's the fan. You feel yeah. me? Them niggas. They play niggas and shit. They do their thing. And it's not even only about us playing us, bro. Play somebody, bro. Pick mm. an artist, pick a group, stick with them, run with them. Every time you're in a club, you got these niggas spinning. Whatever. I don't care, bro. But bro. at least try to try something. Yo, they be uh, DJ, yo, like DJ Cali, bro putting projects together why don't none of these niggas who feel like they gatekeepers trying to put a project together a bunch of niggas from the city mm. you feel me why ain't niggas trying to get niggas features yo i got this nigga coming to the radio Man. yo nigga the features is 3500 to me but niggas five bands to y'all i, I need 1500 Right. Be transparent, bro. bro they just don't even want to do that, bro. Just stop. I, I I respect it, bro. I, I understand, bro. But I'm going to tell you this, bro. I don't give a fuck how niggas feel about me. There's no DJ out here that's playing like a Boston artist. Like, every set. Like, you got to come out. You got to come to the club and run niggas' set, backs and shit, bro, for a nigga to play your music, bro. You got to spend some money, bro. They going to play your music. you massage. Like, bro, like, it's crazy, bro. Like, well, I got to, like, bro, they should be, niggas should be playing niggas' music. All the time, bro. Like you go to Atlanta, you go to Cali, you go to Detroit, you go anywhere, go bro. Atlanta, they playing bro, somebody. The they playing the culture, bro. bro. How you not playing the culture where you at, bro? Right. You playing outside the city, bro. It don't make no sense to me, bro. It don't go to make... Atlanta. You pay the DJ twenty five dollars. They spending your shit. Mm. Be transparent, though, nigga. Yeah, be transparent. Nigga, for cost could, money. nigga, if if ten artists find out you playing nigga songs for fifty dollars, nigga, you, you coming up on five hundred every set. Yeah, but niggas out here be telling like, oh, I'm my fault, bro. I didn't even see phone or niggas. What was ten tracks tonight? Ten tracks. What's ten tracks tonight? What's ten tracks yeah. tonight? Yeah. And you and you sneaking in. You yeah. got an extra five hundred. Yeah. I'm niggas trying to teach niggas. I'm trying to teach niggas how to hustle, bro. Niggas is not on shit, bro. Niggas That's don't want problem, bro. feathers out here, bro. Like, only niggas, niggas who show me love or niggas, in my opinion, when we step in the building, we don't got to throw them no bread. For my opinion, it's Big Tunes. Shout out Big, Big Tunes. Big Tunes. Roscoe Big the Tunes. DJ. Roscoe uh -huh. the DJ. And Cisco. Yeah. I done dapped these niggas up. I'm like, Shout, oh, I appreciate it. Cisco's just bro. one DJ of the year, man, yo, at Boston Music Yo, world, yo I done came That's in niggas, y'all appreciate That's it. it. That's because it. they didn't play nigga shit and shouted us out when we walked in the building. Facts. Big tunes especially. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, shout out to um two times, cause he's a real nigga. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out two, two times, times man. Two times. That's my dog. Two times always showing the love. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Times, like mm -hmm. I've been in the building Two and not. Two need to be on 945, man. They need to get that boy a slot. That man is right. legendary. Bro. <laughs> Yo, put two times on 945, man. I guarantee the city going to get lit every Sunday. Shout you out two times, man. He, he's at the testing lab with us every other week, man, upstairs. Shout out two times. And mind lab, you, bro, man. I never met two times. Never, never. day in my life. Never dabbed him. Never Facts. kicked it with him. None of that. Wow. He just showed love online. Show love. Wow. Play niggas Nigga. music. Wow. Play. Yo, yo I fuck with that wow. shit. Send me a clean. Wow. Fuck it. I'm going to make the clean myself. You feel wow. me? You took too long, you bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Real One of them niggas. niggas. Real nigga. Real nigga. That's mm. how we relate. I like that, man. But that's you, man. You ain't got nothing else you want to you wanna end off with, man? Yo, I told you. Corner Boy Flea's coming. You wow. know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to do like a little R&B record because I feel like the shorties like when I be singing on records and shit like okay. that. They do, they do. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they, they like when I be singing and shit. Dog, was, <laughs> dog didn't think I could rap. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a little R&B joint. But um, the, the joint that I'm going with is um, Corner Boy Fleas. That's the one that I'm standing behind officially. But I like the R&B shit too. So I'm going to do that. But Corner Boy Fleas is the one that I'm like stamping. Like that's going to be the one. Ain't nobody out here talking the shit that I'm talking. And nigga, like I said, I said before, I don't talk that gangbanger shit. I talk the street shit. Mm. That niggas is gonna understand. Mm. There's nobody out here that's talking the shit that I'm talking. You know what I'm saying the shit that we talking. So I I'm gonna let y'all know. Corner Boy Flea's coming though. So that's uh, it. I got nothing else to say. And, and another thing. Y'all can suck my dick. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully. <laughs> nigga, y'all niggas ain't never fuck with niggas. And that's okay. That's you know what I'm saying? Fact. Y'all ain't never fuck with niggas, and y'all don't gotta fuck with niggas. Y'all can suck my dick it's every good, trip, man. nigga. We gonna on stand. dead dogs, we gonna wow. stand on the same shit that we standing on. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Stand on we can end it like that, stand nigga. We starting the year that way, nigga. And if you pick the side, nigga, you stay on that side. Stay on that nigga. side, my nigga. Dead dogs. Stay, stay on that side for real, real Stay on that side, Stay on that side for real, because it's real life versus all that fake shit. 100%, you feel me? 
shit you see with niggas is real life. You feel me? Why? Penthouses is real life, nigga. That's where we living. You feel me? Dead dog. It's Yo, not man. no game, bro. You feel I, me? I gotta come check y'all niggas to LA, man. Yo, I'm Dead telling dogs. you, bro. Come check room. niggas, bro. We got a studio, <laughs> the rapper weed man. studio. You feel me? Give me a suite or something or something, mm -hmm. nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Rich or some shit. You pick man. the side, you stay there. Mm. <laughs> Dead dogs. <laughs> yeah, man. But yo, Tri man, this was. Uh, you was about to say no, I was just saying, trips to the valley coming soon. What you got coming? Trips Everything to the valley. dirty. Everything dirty dropping, man. We probably Everything gonna drop dirty. it at the end of the end of this mm -hmm. month. Somewhere. I like that. You know what I'm saying? We coming in hot, bro. Yeah, he, we coming in hot. I like that. Get it right. I like that, man. But um, this was CWTMV Radio, episode 156. I am Charlie Machine. This is Cash No Motherfucking Sleep. I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? We in the building. We in the garage media. I'm smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm At the smart. Sound Lab. <laughs> we at wait, wait, wait. This this episode 156? Yeah. Now, we're going to call it episode 157. You feel me? Yeah. 157. Hey. We're going to call this the 1-5 yeah. episode. It's a little different. 1-5. Because that's where it started. It's it started at the 1-5, yeah. man. 1-5. Y'all going to have to tell five. me what that means before I name that shit, that shit, my nigga. Hey. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. 1-5 is where it started. That's where it started. Ain't nothing else. It's strip life. With a strip life. That's where it started. That's where it started. 15? That's where it started. That's where it started. He nice. I told you, this nigga's all right with you. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Yo, we love y'all, man. CWTMV Radio, man. We out of here. We love y'all. Until next time. Let's get it. This nigga is crying for help. Yo, where's the guys? <laughs> Buddy, what do you want? What do you want? Bro, this is Mr. Shot. Wake the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> 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 <laughs>